Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Maria Antonia Josefa Joanna von Hasburg Lotringen, better known as Marie Antoinette, was an art duchess and concert queen of France and Navarre. She was born on November 2, 1755, in Vienna, Austria. She was the 15th and penultimate child of the Empress Maria Theresa and France's first Holy Roman Emperor. Little Marie Antoinette had quite a carefree childhood. She grew up amongst palaces next to her ten sisters and four brothers. She had the typical education of an aristocratic girl from the 18th century. After the Seven Years' War in 1763, the preservation of the weak alliance between Austria and France became a priority for the Empress Maria Theresa. Reinforcing alliances through marriage was a very common practice between the European royal families back in the day. So, Maria Theresa decided that her daughter would guarantee the union with France by marrying Louis Auguste, grandson of Louis XV and heir to the French throne. On June 13, 1769, the official proposal took place. On April 17, 1770, Marie Antoinette renounced her rights over her parents' throne and four days later, she left towards her new destination. They got married on May 16, 1770, in Versailles. Young Marie Antoinette wasn't really welcomed in France, but she tried to adapt to the local costumes. In order to evade from her reality, she started to focus on fashion and stand out for the big parties and card games where big bets took place. She spent her first years at the Versailles court without many responsibilities. After the death of Louis XV on May 10, 1774, Louis Auguste, who was 20 years old, succeeded him on the French throne as Louis XVI, turning Marie Antoinette. 19 years old, into Queen of France. The young king and queen of France were not the best marriage in history, we could say. Their personalities weren't really compatible. It seems like he was quite shy while she was lively and fun. After seven years, they still hadn't consummated the union. Finally, in 1778, Marie Antoinette gave birth to her first baby girl, Maria Theresa. Three years later, the longed-for dauphin was born, Louis-Joseph Xavier François. In 1785, they had their third kid, Louis Charles, the future Louis XVII. And a year later, their last child was born, Sophie Helen Beatrix, who died when she was only one year old. Even though Marie Antoinette's attitude changed a bit with her maternity, she didn't leave her events and parties in the beautiful Petit Trianon, a palace built especially for her. During the 1780s, the French government had lots of financial problems, and bad harvests weren't helping either. The extravagant lifestyle of Marie Antoinette became a popular topic and the number of critics against the Queen, and certain many times, kept rising. In 1785, a misunderstanding with a really expensive necklace marked a new period of unpopularity and hate from the French population. The Queen was found guilty of an act she didn't commit. The French Revolution was already in the making, and the famous sentence, let them eat Kate, was spread around the country. A sentence that supposedly Marie Antoinette had said when the people didn't even have flour to bake bread and went to Versailles to protest. Historians have said in several occasions that this is not true. On July 14, 1789, French laborers and peasants stormed into the Bastille prison to take weapons and ammunition, marking one of the most symbolic events of the revolution. On October 6 that same year, a crowd got together outside of the Palace of Versailles and demanded that the king and the queen should be expelled. Marie Antoinette tried to collaborate with her husband in the government, more and more damaged as time went by. But it was too late for the monarchy. After the proclamation of the constitutional monarchy and the acceleration of the revolutionary events, the royal family decided to run away from Paris in 1791. They were captured and made prisoners. In the summer of 1792, while France was in war with Austria and Prussia, the king's expulsion was requested. 
In September, after a month of terrible massacres in Paris, the National Convention decided to abolish the monarchy and declare the French Republic. After Louis XVI's execution, who had been condemned to die in the guillotine, Marie Antoinette was separated from her kids and locked up, being subject to cruel interrogations. Nine months after the king's death, she was declared guilty of high treason and sentenced to die in the guillotine on October 16, 1793. There were lots of factors that contributed to the financial problems in France back then. And Marie Antoinette wasn't the only reason, but it did work as a scapegoat. Throughout history, her name has been used as the personification of monarchy's evil. Marie Antoinette was the last queen of France, a symbolic figure in French history and a whole symbol of excess and frivolity. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!